What's up guys? So I really do appreciate everybody who commented on my last post on my community post of what bosses would you like to see in the next game and damn we got over 88 responses at this current uh, moment at uh, uh, making this video. And I just want to scroll down so everybody gets their shout out in this video. Um, there are going to be a couple comments I pull from this in the actual video when I get to my opinion. But we have a lot of people here. Um, this person says some of the large giants with crazy powers would be uh, some of our enemies. Um, so yeah, I find all of this extremely interesting and I love when you guys comment on these community posts. Because it's why they are there. Um, again, I have a ton of ideas of five bosses actually that I hope to be in the next game and I hope we get something on the next game soon but let's get right into it so again I will be picking five bosses that you guys suggested and what I think as well and the first one is actually something a lot of you guys picked which was Freya's brother Freya's brother which is pronounced Freyer was ruler of the elves in Alfheim where he lives even though he is a veneer god, he was accepted by the Norse gods wholeheartedly. He was the god of peace, fertility, rain, and sunshine, and was the son of the sea giant. In Ragnarok, he died in a battle with the fire giant. Now his motive for fighting Kratos is pretty obvious and pretty much aligns with his sister, Freya. The fact that Kratos killed Baldur, he can be going after Kratos. Revenge seems to be a common cycle within the God of War universe. Next up is the eagle we saw in Helheim. Now there is a lot of speculation on what this eagle actually was. So a lot of people say that this eagle is actually the goddess Hell. The goddess Hell is obviously the goddess of the underworld, hence her name. Other people believe that this eagle is actually the watcher of the underworld, that this eagle watches the events. But if you think about it, this eagle didn't stop Kratos from killing the troll who was guarding the bridge to Helheim. Um, and this bridge, uh, with the, without the Watcher, everything pretty much went out of balance. That's why I personally don't believe that this is the god as hell, or else this eagle would have intervened. But I think that this eagle uh, could have some impact in the next game because this was such a huge figure that didn't even do anything to us. So I'd really love to play uh, a match with this thing. Next we have one of Loki's children and the wolf that pretty much destroyed the world and his uh, offspring as well, which is Fenrir. You've all abandoned me. Fenrir was, in Norse mythology, the biggest player in Ragnarok. His story is actually pretty sad. First, the Norse gods befriended him, but because Odin started having these visions of Ragnarok and how Fenrir will eventually cause his death, Odin ordered the capture of Fenrir and used Tyr to do it. Tyr and Fenrir were very close in Norse myth, and if you think about it, even though Tyr was following the orders of Odin, Tyr betrayed Fenrir, and Fenrir definitely trusted Tyr, so this hurt him pretty badly, to the point of Fenrir wishing revenge on all of the Norse gods. And eventually, when Ragnarok came, Fenrir ate and killed Odin. So his story is pretty rough. I think that he will be a boss in the next game despite the world serpent, his brother, not fighting us. It's because if you listen uh, throughout the game, Fenrir is actually mentioned and he is already captured um, by Odin. So I think that he will want to fight us first and after we fight him he'll eventually join our side because this is the big bad wolf on the block. If you want to learn about Fenrir a bit more, I did a video on how there probably be two Fenrirs that exist in this point in time. So definitely check that out if you're interested. There will be a card and a link at the end of the video. Next up, and this might actually bring some type of controversy, but I really do think Freya herself will also be a boss in the next God of War game. And I think this for many reasons. Now instantly, people will go against this idea. They will counter it saying that Mimir told them that Freya just needs some time to calm down and understand what we've done. However, I counter that argument by saying post-game Mimir confesses to Kratos and Atreus 
that she came and she asked Mamir where she can find her warrior spirit. And Mamir said this in a very shaky way, as if if she does regain her warrior spirit, she'd be able to fight and defend herself again. Also, she is Queen of the Valkyries, which means she pretty much has an unstoppable force behind her. So the fact that she was very advent in looking for her warrior spirit, that she waited till Kratos and Atreus enter Helheim to interrogate Mimir on where she can find it, I believe that she will become our enemy in the next game. She already has all the motivation to do it. And last but not least, Heimdall, the Guardian of the Bifrost. Now I decided to put him in here because he is a character that is somewhat important to Norse mythology um, but the fact that we constantly uh, use the Bifrost to get to locations I think that he's more than likely to make an appearance at some point in the story whether it be the next game or in the next game after that and yeah he's the Garden of the Bifrost but more importantly he dies in a death match with Loki in real Norse mythology both of them die together at Ragnarok after mortally wounding each other so that parallel will be very interesting to see. Alright. Another video done. You were supposed to be my family.